How's everybody doing? This is Lorenzo Alexander once again coming to you about these 19 principles um, about how to live life better, how to be more impactful. And we've covered a variety of different topics, but today I want to touch on uh, commitment. And commitment can be a very hard thing because there's so many things in life that is trying to pull us away from the things that we say are most important to us, right? I want to be a great student. I want to be a great athlete. I want to be a great brother or friend or whatever that may be for you in life, right? Doctors, lawyers, we always have to find something that we need to be committed to and really dig in. Uh, but whether things get hard, right? Things don't go our way, uh, things are inconvenient. Sometimes we can move away from the things that we said we wanted to do, right? We could be committed to the idea of being a great athlete, right? Going to the NBA, going to the NFL, but we could not be committed to the work that it takes to get there. And that falls in all genres, all walks, right? As far as all paths in our life. And so whether it's being a great student, a great athlete, a great person, uh, there's just so many things that we have to have a commitment level to. And our day-to-day -day actions um, is what really tells someone if you're committed to that thing, right? Uh, I remember growing up, I was not the very, most committed person, very um, lazy in a lot of ways. And thankfully I had my uncle Steve not allow me to minimize my own self. So if you have parents and coaches and teachers around you pushing you, um, that's because they care, they love you, and they wanna see you reach your full potential and maximize your goals. But the only way you can really do that is if you stay committed. And we talked about something, goal setting, a couple of weeks ago, right? Write down your goals, because as we get ready to uh, end school, right? A lot of sports are ending. Um, it's getting hot here in Arizona. It's gonna be very hard to stay committed to what you say you want to do, right? So whether that's become faster, become a better uh, soccer player, become a better student, make sure we stay committed. And we can refer to those goals in order to achieve that and make sure our day-to-day -day actions are lining up to that. So one, what I would do is write down your goals. So when it's hot outside and you don't wanna maybe go work out or go get some shots up on the basket outside, right? Um, maybe when we're traveling and oh, it's vacation time. Well, maybe you need to take a, a math workbook so that you can get to the goal of being more comfortable doing math. And so whether it's in a car or on a plane, right? Write down these goals so that you can then um, set up some things that's gonna allow you to achieve them and therefore you can be committed because without commitment, um, everything is really pointless because we have to put in the work, we have to stay committed to the, to the idea, but also the process of achieving that. So hopefully these words of wisdom have, have helped you out and you stay committed to what you set out to do and don't allow um, adversity and things to distract you. Get close with people, parents, teachers, friends that are pushing you in the right direction, holding you accountable and stay committed to your dreams and aspirations. God bless, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.